for my hair. I don't really know what has happened to my fringe. I think it's just got a kink in it and it needs straightening. Two, hopefully so this lighting is alright. Again, I'm still playing with my canvas, so it should be alright. And obviously with guests that I have not vlogged very much today. All we did was travel down there and then we got here about three o'clock, I think. Um, then just rested a bit. Then went to get food for Morrison to the caravan. And then we've literally just had dinner. And yeah, rested and I've just played Monopoly with my cousins. So that's about it. So the one actually anything to show you, I haven't even I actually have been to this campsite before three years ago, so I kind of know it roughly, but I still need to like just explore the entertainment bit. Like I haven't even done any of that, just been in the caravan really. Um my cousins are staying here with my grand and grandma and I'm with my mum, dad and my sister. But they're like all the other way over the campsite. But I now know my way. I originally actually didn't know what they were in so i literally searched the whole campsite looking for them because i didn't bring my phone with me like i bought it with me but like not when i went to look for them but i found them but in other news it was extenders today and it was a bit hectic again it was about eight o'clock and our signals weren't very good like on our tv and bbc one was just playing up and it got to like five past eight and bbc one was just not working i was like oh my god because ben is meant to have died today in extenders um so then I was like, this was halfway through my dinner, and I was like, right, I'm going over to there. So I like sprinted literally, I ran as fast as I could to the whole of the end of the campsite so I could watch these on their TV because it was working. And it was a really sad episode. Like, I've seen some fan like fan theories on Twitter saying because Ben is like supposed to be killed and it's been in all magazines and stuff. Ben and Paul, if you didn't know, they're a gay couple in EastEnders. Um, ben Mitchell and Paul Coker. And they got, like, tattoos of each other's names on their wrists. And I saw a theory that's saying they think Paul's Ben. So, actually, Paul dies, not Ben. And that happened. The whole way through the episode, they've, like, um, rang up Phil and Ian. Phil's Ben's dad, Ian's Ben's brother, if you don't know. Um, in like saying your son's at the hospital, um, sorry that's my hand, and I've just realised I've been looking in the screen the whole time, sorry I will look into the lens, and yeah, and then the very last bit at the end, they reveal the body and his pool, so Ben's not died, fingers crossed hopefully, which is good, but then I didn't want Paul to die either, because they're my favourite relationship he said I've ever had, so I'm really annoyed at the producer for writing Paul out, considering he's probably not even been in it for a year maybe he has but still so yeah so ben didn't die but paul did well ben still could die we don't know yet because ben won't even seen in the episode it's quite cold everyone so today i'm starting the vlog whilst paddling in the sea it's a bit cold but it is really nice weather today actually and it's about lunchtime now and so far today i got up about half ten so very late um and we've just been to the arcade i found loaded two peas and then i won something so that was nice and we've been to the shop and that's about it i'm going to flip this around so you can see the lovely landscape Here we go, so this is as far as I'm going, as I'm in my clothes, but it's very nice. So I'm back at the caravan now, I've just had made a bacon salad and yeah, took a while because the grill is really bad. What has happened with my hair? And I'm about to go swimming in a minute anyway, but I'm not going to bring my camera down because obviously if people are splashing around, I do not want to get it ruined. <laughs>
about half ten and I've just played Monopoly at my granddad and grandma's apartment chalet lodge thing and now, well, it's practically the size of a caravan but now we're walking back to our caravan and I just thought I'd test out this camera in the dark and it's actually quite good. I don't know how good the set setting is, it's making my face go a bit yellow but that's probably the best is. And there's the moon in the background and yeah, there's a nice little walk. I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. Here we go. We're back. So I'm back now and I'm just going to have a shower and get ready for bed because obviously I've been in the pool in chlorine and yeah, my hair it looks nice. Look, it looks like I've proper curled it. It doesn't normally go like this when it's natural, but it feels disgusting. So I've got some leave-in conditioner which I'm going to put in. situation but I need to sort out the settings on this camera but we have just arrived at Southworld but the sea is in so there's no beach so we can't really do that so I've just been in the arcade had a drink and now we're just going for a, a nice walk in the town